Someone rightly said that Baptist prayer meetings dwell much more on keeping saints out of heaven than on getting sinners into heaven. We need to pray more for evangelism and revival, but we love our Christian family and we want them to stay with us and we grieve when they leave. We've had difficult times to navigate through in the past, but nothing quite like this in any of our lifetimes. But, as I have said many times, we are the church, we are God's people, and we have a spot to fill, and we must all be on mission, however and whatever that may be. Me dio el regalo de vida eterna. He replaced the emptiness with his me presence. Ha el vacío de and mí. now I have joy y ahora yo tengo gozo y alegría. and peace and, and hope. hope. And, y and one day I'll be with him forever and forever. Yeah. Press on toward the goal. He said, I hadn't made it yet. But I'm not stopping short. Amen. I'm pressing on to know Jesus. You hear Dan Ireland's dead. You rejoice. I'm probably knocking down a few saints in heaven trying to get up the front row at the, at the throne where Jesus is so I can see him. And I'm going to be there. God is in charge of all of it. It's all about Him. It's all about God. We need to sound the trumpet. Men of God across our land, across Alabama, we need to sound the trumpet for revival. how real Jesus is. You start to know he's not something that happens for a week. It's not something that just happens for a month. It changes your life forever. It's real. Anything worthwhile has happened. It has always been my feeling that the glory belongs to God. Congratulations. The God of the universe has invited you to join him in the writing of redemptive history over the 21st century. You haven't seen anything yet. God's going to bless you as you obey his word 
and move forward. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. In Christ's name. Thank you.